So Microsoft has put their Copilot AI into one of the most important uh, platforms or products that they have, and that is Microsoft Teams. So let's jump into what, in my opinion, are some of the best ways to use Copilot with Microsoft Teams, and we'll talk about if it's something that you should actually get for yourself. The first really cool thing that I think Copilot's able to do is meeting recaps. And if this, if you've ever worked in a team setting, you know that this is something that people always had to do manually. The Copilot within Teams is able to join that meeting and summarize all of your notes for you. So with Copilot, you just you open up the meeting and you instantly see a recap. It's not just a raw transcript, but it has key themes, what decisions were made, and what action items came out out of that meeting based on who was in attendance and what they said. Now, are the AI recaps perfect? No, they do have some things that are wrong. Sometimes it mishears things or if there's a name that's assigned incorrectly to a project. I have seen a couple times where it's gotten a little bit mixed up or confused about who's talking about what different thing. The other thing that I feel like is a gap and I'm hoping that Microsoft will fix this in the future is it doesn't integrate with any platforms as of now. So it doesn't work with any project management tools as an example. So far, I have not seen that Microsoft is able to do that, but that might be something that's coming down the pipeline. The second really cool thing that Copilot can do is action tracking. So if you're in a meeting, this is another meeting minutes thing. If you say something like, I'll send this to customer A on Friday, the system will pick up that that's a to-do, an actual action that needs to be tracked. And so you'll see it in the recap with the specific person, what their action is, and the due date that's assigned. But the cool part about it is it's listening for those key phrases. With all of the complex ways that we have conversations in meetings, it's really cool that this system is able to pick up on the nuances of that and actually do action tracking when it comes to people's actual people's workflow and what they're saying during meetings. But again, it does have some of the nuances where if you say something like, I'll do that later, it doesn't necessarily pick up. So like the meeting minutes, I would be very clear when you're talking in your meeting and saying, I will have this done by X date. Now let's move away from meetings and talk about chats. Because if you are like me, this is where you spend the majority of your time talking to coworkers, reading, doing updates, things like that. So what happens typically if you're anything like me is you might go for lunch and you come back and you have 20 unread messages. What's the most important? What do I need to work on? If there's a group chat that was just kind of blowing up, is there anything in there that's actually actionable? Copilot will tell you. It will tell you what was decided in a very clear summary. It'll tell you what was decided, what's unresolved, and what you personally need to respond to. If it's something where there's just a chat happening and people are talking about a funny meme that they saw or or whatever, their weekend plans, Copilot will not make you read all of it. It'll just say these are things that are happening, kind of similar to like how Apple intelligence, if you're on a group chat, it'll just kind of give you the Apple summary. This kind of summary tech is really helpful. And I think it helps you kind of sift through what's beneficial, what's not beneficial when it comes to Microsoft Teams. All right, so let's talk about the last feature that I, there are tons of features with AI Copilot uh, or Microsoft Copilot for Teams. But the, the last big one that I think is the most important is drafting and communications. So similar to like Copilot in Word or Copilot in PowerPoint, you're actually able to generate content within Teams as well. And it will reference the part that I think is really cool is it will reference the chat that you're having and it will be able to pop out the information that you need. So if you're having, let's say, a brainstorming session with somebody, you're chatting with them, you have, you're throwing ideas back and forth, you might say, hey, Copilot, put together the list of the all of the ideas that were spit out and then we'll review them all together. So it could be something like that where it's just collecting information, but it does use the chat context as a reference. It can also review previous meetings and it'd be kind of pulling information from that as well. It can also help with things like follow-up emails or suggesting talking points for your next client call. And like all AI, I'm not suggesting that you just copy and paste what it puts out because Copilot, in my experience, has been not super reliable with content generation there in terms of mistakes and stuff there's content wise or um, format wise there's no issue like if you use the PowerPoint tool it'll format everything for you but the actual content the meat and bones of it is not always the most reliable so you do have to always go back and double check before you send off an email to a client but it is helpful to have uh, just to be able to aggregate the information and then allow you to review it before you send it off to the final people. Now, Copilot for Teams, like all Copilot, is part of the Copilot bundle. So if you're buying it just by itself, it's $30 per user per month billed annually or 
3150 per user per month build monthly. If you do a bundle plan um, like Microsoft Business Basics plus Copilot, it's 36 per user per month, 36 uh, US dollars per user per month. So depending on uh, what plan you have, you do have to buy all of code. Like you can't just get Copilot with Teams by itself. But if you do get Copilot and trust me, I would say it's worth it, especially if you can get the budget approved to be able to do it for PowerPoint, for Excel, for Word, for Teams, for OneNote. And if you have used Copilot before, let me know what your best use case is. I have a video that I did and I'll link to it here of Copilot, is it worth it? I've also done videos on uh, Microsoft Copilot when it comes to Excel and PowerPoint. So if you're interested in those, you can check those out as well. And with that, I will see you on the next one.